Have you ever heard the story about these two brothers that transformed the restaurant industry without even being in that industry? I'm going to tell you that story today. In the late 19th century, the automobile was starting to be seen on the roads of all the major cities of the world. New businesses were being set up to help support this fast-growing industry, among them tyre companies, to keep the cars on the road. But there was a problem. As with any change in the way people live, people didn't know what to do with these new toys. To help them work this out, two French brothers created a little red book. This book came with every new set of tyres the brother sold. The book shared how to change a tyre, maps of the developing road system, where they could fill up their new motorised horse, and also provided listings of places that people could stay to relax at the end of a day adventuring. This red book came free of charge, until one day when one of the brothers visited a tyre shop. Deep inside the workshop, one of the bench legs was being propped up by his beloved books. He thought about this for a moment and felt that people didn't realise the value of the book because it wasn't being sold. His famous quote, man only truly respects what he pays for. Fast forward to the 1920s and the red book was relaunched. This time it cost seven francs and alongside the original content, it also had listings of Parisian hotels and restaurants broken down into categories. Slowly but surely, in the book for a restaurant meant a lot. The brothers realised this and began to send secret diners all across France. By 1926, the guide began awarding a star to the best restaurants. A decade later, the stars had grown to three, and by the end of the 20th century, the Red Book had grown to reviewing over 40,000 establishments across 24 territories. So some of you may already know this story, and therefore will know the name of the book. The brothers were called André and Édouard Michelin, and they owned the Michelin Tire Company, as well as the Red Book Company, which has become world famous through the name of the Michelin Guide. So if you're ever lucky enough to visit a Michelin star restaurant, you have two brothers in the automotive industry to thank. A small idea to help sell more tires had grown into its own thing. Many these days are more likely to have heard about the Michelin Guide as opposed to the tire company. So while we may never get the opportunity to create the Michelin Guide, here are our five questions you can start asking your business to start thinking laterally. Number one, is there any other way your business objectives could be met? Number two, think of a brand outside your industry that you think is doing great stuff. How do you think they would approach this opportunity? Number three, what are three other ways of looking at this challenge? Number four, if we had infinite resources, what would this look like? Number five, what if we scrapped this approach and tried something different? I hope you've enjoyed this latest fable. We post videos nearly every week about design, design thinking, and digital. If you did enjoy the video, do give us a thumbs up and do consider subscribing. And we'll see you in the next video.